All right, what is going on guys? Coach Joe here at the Lions Den. We're gonna get right to the point of the video and that is talking about the 10 things that have changed my life drastically. So I've gone through a lot of seasons of life, okay? I'm somebody who suffers from anxiety, depression. I am an attempted suicide survivor. Uh, and I've gone from ultimate highs to ultimate lows, okay? I actually went through a phase where I believed I was completely at rock bottom. Uh, and I wanna say that when you're at rock bottom, the only thing that you can do is work up from there, okay? So these are 10 things that when I was recently at rock bottom, I started implementing in my life and started to change drastically, like completely different life, okay? So I wanna talk about them to you. Some are pretty basic, some are a little bit different, uh, but there's 10 of them, so let's get right to the first one. First one, guys, is getting out in nature, getting outside. Listen, I should have just put a disclaimer from the beginning is uh, some of the stuff maybe has scientific evidence, some of it doesn't, it's just anecdotal. Uh, either way, it's helped me a ton and I believe in it. So I'm going to talk about it. But getting out in nature for me is just something that just, whew, it just works wonders. I don't know if it's just escaping wherever I'm at, right? My, my current environment, just going to another environment. I don't know if it's that, you know, there's just something so pure uh, and delightful, calming, also yet uh, just energetic about nature, okay, right? Like grounding yourself with nature. It's everywhere around us, so kind of when you can immerse yourself into it, uh, I just find something that just really connects to my soul of uh, being out in nature. I sound like a total tree-hugging hippie, maybe I am, uh, but if you guys have been out in nature, you know what I'm talking about, and if you haven't, I really encourage you guys to just get outside, disconnect, uh, and go just sit, you know, within a park or uh, wherever you can that there's trees, there's grass, maybe a stream, some rocks, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Get out there and just spend 10, 10 minutes, five, maybe, maybe even five minutes. If five minutes is all you can do. Do five minutes uh, and just see how you feel. Second one. This is one that is probably controversial, uh, but I've been doing it and I've been feeling awesome mentally and physically, uh, a little bit probably more spiritually from doing this. And it's a, it's a contrast of doing some sort of sauna or extreme heat exposure and then cold exposure. So like ice baths, whatever. So uh, how I've been doing it is one, I take cold showers every day. I know it's like cliche, everyone's like, you know, I've been doing it and all that kind of stuff, uh, but I've actually been doing it. And if there isn't any scientific evidence to it, all I'm saying is you are going to feel energized. It is going to wake you the hell up and get you going after your morning and your day. So I had the pleasure of going to Idaho and hanging out with my buddy Cody, which you guys should be following, Cody Alford. Check him out on Instagram, YouTube, fantastic human being. Uh, but every day we'd wake up, literally just wake up, get a cup of coffee, go down to the lake, jump in the lake, freeze our balls off, feel energized, be hooting, hollering, yelling, you know, feeling great, get out, crush our day. We do that every day. And I took that away from my trip, so I started doing that every single day. Now, the other cool thing is on top of the cold showers, I got a membership to, uh, essentially it's a spa, and in the spa they have tons of different types of saunas for extreme heat exposure. Some are, are like steam steam rooms, uh, there's saunas at different levels, etc. And then there's also cold plunges and jacuzzis and all that kind of stuff. So I wanted to invest in myself and basically what I do is I train and then I'll go to this spa and I'll sit in the sauna and go back and forth with the contrast of hot and cold uh, for minimally 30 minutes. Maximum, I've been there for about two hours at some point. Uh, so make sure you're obviously staying hydrated and you're taking yourself, all, this, all those whatever disclaimers, medical, yada, 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 jargon, whatever I gotta say. Uh, but it's made a difference in my life, my quality of life, and there's also been some pretty cool metrics. I've noticed that my resting heart rate has gone down uh, I feel like, you know, when it comes to uh, body fat and body composition, I feel like that's changing a little bit. I think there are a lot of other factors that are involved with that, but I think that is one factor that can be contributing to that on top of all the other things. Uh, and just my overall well-being has been better. So get in a cold plunge or some sort of contrast training with extreme heat and extreme cold, and I guarantee you, you're going to get some sort of result from it, even if it's the fact of you're just making yourself tougher. Uh, and I think that resilience is to... Just a, a beautiful thing. Third one is gonna be limiting screen time. Uh, and I should probably talk about this in its own video, uh, but when I went to Idaho for a vacation, I was staying with my buddy 
and we had no service at his property. It's a homestead property. So in the mountains, kind of very remote, off, off the, the grid, essentially. Uh, so we had no service. And the only time we had service was when we go into town. And the first day, I would say I was definitely feeling like anxious. I always want to touch my phone. You know, I was like wanting to see who's on social media, all the notifications, blah, blah, blah. And then every day, since I didn't have service, it got easier and easier for me to not even care or think about my phone and just be present in the moment. And being able to be present, I feel like was something I didn't even realize I was missing until I was able to be present and realize how not present I've been for so long because I'm just attached to my screen all the time. Uh, so that was awesome. And I felt like uh, very de-stressed. I felt like I didn't have much anxiety. Uh, I was very happy. I felt like I had more clarity in my brain. Um, this is only a couple days, guys. I was away for five days uh, and, and barely had any service. And then five, just five days, being able to see how much more mental clarity I had, see how low my stress levels were, uh, was just insane. So if you can find some sort of practice of getting off your phone or leaving your phone in the car or, or at your house when you go and you do things, uh, or just you know setting those boundaries, setting up your screen time allowance, and your, whatever whatever works for you, I would highly recommend it because it was a game changer for me. The other thing you can do is simply just put your phone on airplane mode, uh, and that way you're not getting distractions, notifications, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but I noticed just a huge increase in productivity as well, uh, not only with all things I'm gonna be talking about, uh, but just limiting that screen time. So kind of a no brainer, uh, but a big game changer for me. This one's really important. And you probably have heard the term or the, the cliche say, you're the product of the five people you spend the most time with. I absolutely believe in that. And it's very true. So for me, when I was kind of at this really low point, I had to say to myself, like, who am I surrounding myself with? What are the type of people that, that uh, you know, are molding who I am right now? And to be honest, one of the things was is I didn't have many friends. So I really don't have many people who are influencing me. And I was like, one thing, I was like, boom, like you need to start hanging around more winners. You need to start hanging around people that you want to be like. And, and yeah, like I have friends that I connect with on like social media and stuff like that. But I mean like consistently around, um, you know, that are winning at life and that I respect and that I want to be like. So if you are surrounding yourself with either people you uh, don't want to be like, you know, you got to learn to change that environment. If you have no friends, you want to find the people that you want to be like. Uh, and if you're hanging around people that are awesome and ass kickers, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, but that was kind of just a wake up call for me, like developing a really good environment of people I surround myself with, having that support system, people that believe in me and people that respect me and just that positivity to be around really just shapes so many things and qualities of your life. Uh, so that's something that, you know, I would definitely uh, check into. Next one is gonna be walking. Man, walking has been huge for me. I try to walk every single day. Uh, I love how Stan Efforting did a 10 minute walk, so we always would go out for a walk, talk about something on his YouTube channel. Uh, he's very big with it when it, you know, it comes to the vertical diet, et cetera, for digestion, and mental health, all that kind of stuff, and just getting steps in. So for me, I try to do um, at least 10 minute walks after every meal. Okay, it's very simple. You just set your phone for five minutes, walk one direction. When it beeps, turn around, walk back. That's 10 minutes. This accumulates after every meal. So you're doing three or four meals. It's about 30 to 40 minutes of walking in a day. So not only are you getting more um, energy expenditure in just by walking, so burning calories, uh, you're also just having that time to mentally you know, relax or zone out or meditate or think about things. So it's great for the mental clarity. Uh, and also if you're doing that after you eat, you're just kind of helping your digestive process uh, with that food so love walking so many benefits of walking you got to do it and like i said it can be as simple as five minutes ten minutes whatever you want to do or wake up in the morning or at night i don't care just get your steps in get walking and you're gonna notice that your life is just gonna increase in quality like crazy now here's one uh that i've done a little bit of and as i've grown i'm trying to do more of and that's simply just giving back okay giving back without any expectation doing something for somebody or organization, uh, volunteer, whatever, just because it's gonna make you feel good. It feels great to give back or help people out. And in the past, maybe I would have thought that there's some sort of expectation. Oh, well, I did this, so I expect that you know, back in return. And it's like, no, like just do it because, <laughs> just because how it makes you feel. Like nobody does something 
uh, for free or volunteers their time and they don't just feel great about it. And it's something that they talk about and you can tell people light up like, yeah, you know, I volunteered at a homeless shelter or a dog shelter, or, you know, I, I set up a fundraiser and we donate all this money. Like it, it's, a, it's infectious. So uh, giving back is a huge one and it's something I'm trying to do more of. You know, I, I tend to gravitate more towards the military community uh, and helping them out. So find your thing that you're passionate about or that you want to help out and just think to do something. It could be like once a year, right? Or it could be once a month. It could be once a week. I don't know, but just give back. All right. So the next one is, I mean, huge. I keep saying they're all, they're, I keep saying this one's huge. They're all huge. Uh, but this one is really cool because you will get to see the process and the, the transformation you make uh, on a micro and macro level, and that is journaling. So I've always been somebody who journaled, right, or had a diary, you know, so for any of you, you macho dudes watching this and you think having a diary is lame, you're lame, right? I love having my diary, I love having my journal, and, and you can make it look as cool or personal as you want, um, but I do a daily journal entry, and sometimes I free write, sometimes I have prompts, you know, that I'm, I'm going through. Um, but it, what's crazy is it's it's something that you can track over time. And you can put your thoughts from your mind out on paper. And you can see things for what they really are. So if you're struggling or you're going through something, when you write it down, you will clearly see what is going on. And then what you'll see is like, it, it, it could be popping up every single day. And that's like a red flag. Like this is something that pops up every day when I write this journal prompt. I need to change this. How can I change this, right? So you'll do that. And then you'll make those changes. And then what you'll see is you'll see the, like the, the transformation of how you're writing over time. So like when I was at one of my low points, man, everything was so negative. It was dark. It was kind of scary. Uh, but then I can see like when I was like, you know what? I've had enough of this. I'm going to take action. And then I changed it. You can see the tone of the journal entry start changing over time. So uh, really cool there. The other thing is it's a great way that when you do get stuck in some sort of place, you can go back in your journal and, and have the data to be like, well, what was I doing? How did I, how did I get from this, this dark place to this positive place? Or how did I, you know, solve this problem that I had uh, with my, my spouse or with work, etc. So it's really cool in that regard. And I really recommend you guys journal every single day. Find a journal that just calls to you or create your journal, however you want to go about it. Uh, but there's tons of journal prompts out there online. Uh, there's different courses, you name it. Uh, if you guys are more interested in that, I can dive deeper into that stuff because I'm just making videos kind of on whatever now, but it's all about being being better with yourself. Now this one, no brainer, right? You've been on the channel for some time. You know that I'm a big fan of exercise, resistance training, specifically strength training. You guys need to be doing something. You need to be moving around. You need to be training, okay? You need to be uh, just putting this, this positive stress on your body of resistance training because uh, it's gonna make you more resilient uh, in so many ways, it's going to help you physically, it's going to help you mentally. So you better be in the gym and you better be crushing it. Uh, and that's actually something that I was really slacking with was my training for a long period of time. I had no mojo. I had no motivation. I was just in a dark place. I wasn't getting anything out of my training. Uh, and it wasn't until I started really looking from within, believing in myself, doing these things that I'm talking about now that I, I finally refound my purpose, refound my why. Uh, and I've been crushing it in the gym and I just, it feels so good. It feels so good. Like I can't tell you how, how long I had lost this like love for training and to get that back, man, I got chills. It's like, it's amazing because that's the feeling I had for so many years. And that's what got me into doing what I did was that feeling. Cause I wanted other people to feel the same way. So get your training in, get your exercise and your body and your mind will thank you. Last two, um, the first one's gonna be declutter. I had admittedly become somewhat of a minimalist. So I just got rid of so much crap because I realized it didn't serve my purpose. Now, that doesn't mean like I have like just my bed, you know, one shirt, you know, a pair of shorts, a shoe, you know, and like, or a shoe, shoes, uh, and nothing really else. Uh, that just means that I got rid of anything that didn't serve me and my purpose. Okay, so I'm sure we have tons of crap that we've collected over time that maybe we, we hold because we think we're gonna use it and we probably never have, or we have some sort of emotional connection to it. We don't wanna get rid of it, but we know that we should. So I just got rid of all that crap. And when you declutter, you make your, uh, or you, you, you provide yourself less decisions that you have to make. 
And I find what makes me very anxious is when I have so many decisions I need to make. So by decluttering, I have decreased my anxiety levels like tenfold because I don't have to make any more decisions than I have to. Uh, and there's not like a million options out there for me to sit there and wonder which one I should do or which route I should take. So declutter, um, there's a great documentary on Netflix. Uh, I think it's Minimalism or then there's a digital minimalism book, I think by Cal Newport. So lots of great resources out there, um, but you know, declutter, whatever that means to you, do it. Last one is doing something for you every day. Just one thing, one thing you wanna do for you every single day, okay? And that could be a hobby that you have, maybe like working you know, uh, in your, your workshop while woodworking, maybe you like painting, drawing, um, something of that nature, maybe it's just, Simply one of the things I talked about. Maybe it's going for your walk. Maybe it's sitting in the sauna for five minutes. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just exercising. But do something for you, not anybody else, once a day. Okay? That Show yourself some love and respect. And be like, you know what? This, this time that I've walked off, this is for me. I, I deserve this. I need this. I, this is me. Okay? No one else. Uh, and, and I find if you do that, you're just going to feel better and uh, you're gonna see your life change. So those are 10 things on my list that have changed my life. You know, like I said, I was at a point where I was at rock bottom uh, and you know, I needed to make changes. So this is some of the things that I implemented into my life that have really been a game changer and I wanted to share those with you. And I find that if you guys somehow implement some of these into your life, maybe it's not all of them, but one or two of them, you're gonna notice that your quality of life increases. You're gonna feel maybe less stressed, decluttered. Uh, you're gonna have more clarity you know, in your brain, uh, and just be better physically and mentally. So that's all I have for today, guys. Hopefully you've been enjoying these videos. Stay a lean, mean strength machine. Catch up with you guys next time. Peace.